where 1,000 students are learning German, bright students, eager students. I was really impressed about these students. We have also seen uh, the mayor. We have seen a production site of a German company here. Very impressive. Today is the first. Um, it's the first leg of the uh, house uh, of innovation um, uh, which uh, coming from, uh, from Delhi here uh, on its tour uh, of excellence. Um, and we will talk surely about that. Um, but it's also a first for me. It's the first time that I am in Hyderabad and I think it couldn't be uh, a better occasion. Um, I'm also very grateful that we could, and there had been some bureaucratic uh, discussions before, I must tell you, that we could bring one of Marcus Heinsdorf's um, beautiful uh, gemstones uh, pavillons here to Hyderabad. Uh, this pavillon here um, has seen more than half a million of visitors in five melas last year all over the country. Um, and it was uh, one of the visual highlights of the Mela we had during the year of Germany here in India. Now, uh, this pavillon will be uh, for eight days home uh, to Indo-German Science Corporation at its best. And I think that Hyderabad well, was well chosen. Cyberabad stands for excellent universities and high tech, everybody uh, knows that, of course. Now, Indo-German uh, Science Corporation is the defining pillar of our bi bilateral relationship. Uh, India and Germany are both hubs of knowledge. Language, higher education and learning, that is the currency of the globalized world. It offers career opportunities, it offers opportunities to travel, and it offers the opportunity to exchange knowledge and ideas. We want to bring together the young, bright minds of both our countries. You might be aware that we had Indo-German intergovernmental consultations on the 11th of April in Berlin between Chancellor Merkel and Prime Minister Singh with a number of ministers on each side. And in fact, my impression from this very intensive meeting in Berlin was that science was at the center uh, uh, of uh, these talks. Um, science and education, 10 out of 16, 10 out of 16 signed MOUs and declarations were on science and education. And let me tell you that we made, for example, quite an impressive progress on specifically two areas. One is the promotion of German as a foreign language in India. We signed a text which has as its substance the increase of the status of German language teachers, Indian German language teachers, at universities, um, boosting by that uh, our program, German in Thousand Schools. And let me tell you, this program is so successful that we don't have a problem on the demand side. We have so many students who want to learn German. Our problem is rather to have enough teachers. And in order to have enough teachers um, for such a vast program, um, all the 1,090 KV schools will introduce over the year. We have already three, more than 300 to do it. Um, um, you need, of course, the teachers to do that. And the teachers must have um, uh, a, a, a sufficient uh, status. Uh, just three days ago, I met uh, 
the State Minister, uh, Shashi Taror. We discussed that, and the Indian government is also fully committed to help here. Second thing I want to mention, a second very important MOU, Memorandum of Understanding, which was signed in Berlin between the two governments, was an MOU on enhanced academic exchange of students, professors, and uh, the cooperation on scientific projects. And let me say and let me repeat, it's important that we realize all what we are doing in the Indian-German relationship in the field of science and education is not about brain drain. It's not about brain drain, it's about brain circulation. It's also about helping to build the knowledge uh, of the students. Let me also mention in passing something which is very important for India, I think, but surely also for us, because it's the issue we have in Germany that is an MOU signed on green corridors, green energy corridors in India. Um, there was the commitment from the German side to um, give a credit on these projects, different green corridors of, um, for a start, 1 billion euros, which is, uh, uh, I think, an impressive uh, sum. Furthermore, we had a number of other um, texts um, also on the non-governmental level because we so often forget that the relationship between countries today, of course, the governments need to understand each other and have to work with each, uh, with each other, but even more important is, of course, uh, the level, um, uh, the relationship um, uh, under non-governmental institutions, people-to-people relations and experts.